Well, Singapore is searching for a snooker champion. The sports national body is looking to build a pool of young talent, especially those aged between 20 and 30, to do just that. Uh, there will also be more partnerships in future with private academies, for example, uh, the Ronnie O'Sullivan Snooker Academy, which has officially been launched here. Alavamsha reports. Singapore already has some of the world's best in Q sports. There's Peter Girl Chris, a six-time English billet world champion. And Aloysius Yap, who recently held the world number one ranking in pool. It's now aiming for a snooker superstar. The development for snooker over the years hasn't been at a level that we can be proud of. In other countries, even our regional counterparts, they start at a much younger age. It is a, it is a catch up that we find is quite difficult to breach. As part of efforts to grow and develop the sport in the country, Q Sports Singapore is also aiming to work closely with several key partners. And that includes this private snooker academy. Launched by seven-time snooker world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan, it aims to be one of the National Sport Association's centres of excellence. It wants to identify and train new talent as young as nine. As a private academy, we have the nimbleness of you know, making programmes work, creating the right curriculum, creating the right interest. We can get even national players in, you know, Peter Gilkis plays here, some of the top players in Singapore play here. So there is a, we can get those guys to guide the youngsters as well. This year, the academy will hold 23 ranking events and 30 mini tournaments. There are also scholarships to help players who are working. These include national pool player Sharik Syed, currently ranked 48th in the world and former national snooker player Jaden Ong. Because we have the world-class facilities over here, so players will definitely benefit a lot from the training tables here. Many people actually label this game like those kind of like abing sports, you know, but actually it's more like a gentleman's game. Yeah, so I think it will, um, it will be good if like people can change their perspective of this game. All these might be the break Team Singapore need in snooker as it looks ahead to next year's SEA Games. It failed to win a medal in Hanoi this year and last won gold at the 2017 Games in the doubles event.